good morning. Nice to see you, mate. How are you? Good. Lovely day for it. We should be out in the water. <laughs> I know. look so like at the moment i'm running the smaller eight inch wheels i just feel like it would sit better on a roller yeah so definitely roller i think 750 because like i say just it just looks more pumped up and then it's got to be of course powder coated <laughs> of course Back again, four weeks later. Ross, nice to see you, mate. Joe, great to see you. I'm absolutely buzzing, honestly. We got up super early to come down and see this trailer. I'm hoping it's ready. Yes, it's ready for you. Where is it? Right over here. Come on. You lead the way, or should I lead the way? I should probably lead the way. After you, sir. Oh, wow. What do you think? Okay, so the effort paid off really, didn't it? Thought you'd be pleased. Well, you did say red was your favourite colour. Man, this thing looks insane. What do you think? Honestly, Ross, you've you've excelled yourself. I've I've you know I've customised a lot of trailers, so I know how much hard work goes into just getting the. Yeah, I was in shock a little bit at the moment. No problem. Well, as you can see, we've got the powder coated chassis, uh, all in black. So chassis, cross members, draw bars. Uh, so we, we ensure that we've powder coated every little piece of steel on here. So we've got the drawbar keel roller, we've got the mudguard brackets, we've even got the tie down points, they're powder coated. And then as oh different as you requested, we've then powder coated in red, the equalizers front and back and the winch post as well. So the issue with powder coating from a trailer manufacturer's perspective is our design is U-bolt construction uh, yeah. and uh, a lot of our competitors use uh, U-bolts to support the axle. The, the issue is when you tighten the U-bolt you could potentially crack the powder coating. Okay. So we've lasered uh, these U-bolt protectors, you can see there, you can't even notice it in oh the my God. naked eye. I've only really just seen that. Yeah, so it... aluminium, okay, uh, so that's to protect the U-bolt, so if you do need to adjust it, it's not going to affect the powder coating. Wow. So that's okay. on every U-bolt, even underneath here on this cross member. So when you do need to set it up, um, it's not going to damage the powder Literally, coating. Literally, Ross, every time I've done this in the past, what happens is as soon as you pull these down, they bite into the into the powder coat and that's your set position. So that is, I didn't expect that, I must admit. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit jealous in the set. Well, it is my trailer <laughs> at the end of the day, but it's ultimately yours. I feel like, damn, I didn't think of that, you know. This is why we, you know, we, when we were ready, we wanted to then offer this uh, as a as an optional extra. But you know, it had Don't to you be when though, like all of these little bits yeah. just make it pop. So we also, as as you requested, we sourced um, a Alco jockey wheel. Yeah. With the matching red handle <laughs> jockey wheel clamp as well, and you even got a holder. Am I fussy, it? Ross? Fussy, pedantic. I wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly. I can't thank you enough. No problem. It's been worth the, you know, like we've been talking for a long, long time. Honestly, guys, I've, you know, I've been talking to Ross for probably six months, like I said in the first video, and they really have excelled themselves. Every little detail that I requested, well, more than what I requested, to be fair, like these little, I'm quite a nerd, so the fact that you've protect, I mean, I'm trying to find one that you haven't done, but I don't think no, I'm no, gonna no. find one, am I? <laughs> I went over it with a fine tooth The fact that you've done underneath is really impressive, because I bet the poor person who was holding them was like that, trying to stop them falling. <laughs> really good, mate. Really, honestly, I can't thank you for that. Glad to Incredible, incredible. Well, should we get you hitched up then? I think so, yeah, definitely. Go out on the water. Just missing one thing, isn't it? <laughs> You're supplying the jet ski as well. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Wrong business for that, unfortunately. But get a jet ski on there, and I'll get it out on the water. Good let's stuff. Get, let's get it hooked up.
can you imagine me having anything else other than a detachable tow bar? No, of course when not. When you think about aesthetic, Ross, at this point. The thing is, having that tow bar, you know, when someone drives in the back of you, there's nothing better than... Yeah, true. ...and then go, ha, ha. I know. Do you know what? This is where I get really, really picky and counter, like, uh, contradictive. In a car, I think red, red can be a bit sickly. Do you know what I mean? Whereas uh, just having a little bit of a softer, not softer even, but I guess it's like more, like you say, it's like a bit more of a maroon red. Look, Ross, you're giving me more OCD. I'm going to be saying I need to get the car sprayed that color. Yeah, out. I think that's a great idea. After right. you. Okay, so legal requirement, secondary coupling. Yeah. We use a chain, heavy duty chain. Yeah. As uh, we prefer it to the, the wires. Uh -huh. um, because what the problem is with the wires is they're just sprayed, they're, they're not fully galvanised, so okay. they rust and they're not as strong. So we use this heavy duty calibrated galvanised chain. Got it. Uh, so much stronger. So when you lower it on, I always like to check that it's on, but it will it'll engage there and then I'll just test it by raising the back of the vehicle. and then you know it's, it's fully locked in. Fully secure. So when you lower the jockey wheel down, you can see there's a little Groove, groove there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, make sure that is in there and that nice and tight because what can happen if it's not in securely, uh, it will slowly unwind whilst on the road and you're yeah, you'll they'll ruin drag you. in the floor exactly. And you'll ruin your lovely red handled jockey wheel. <laughs> so raise that up there again. Again, I like to have it on the side, they're nice and tight, and then nice and tight. Got a good purchase on these handles, and then on here, I'll put the electrical. So, thing are you seven or 13 pin? Do you know? I don't actually, that's embarrassing. No, so isn't it? that's fine. Generally, seven pin, and that's for all unbraked. And then you need to go 13 for braked. Got it. Because um, you need a 13 pin for the reverse light. So make sure that's nice in. Like to do a final visual check of the trailer, and make sure everything is as it should be. Tight. And most importantly, those light board knobs, nice and secure. Yeah. And you're off to go. Okay. So. Nice. When are you going out of the water then? This afternoon? Well, I wish. Gotta get it back to work. Can't have oh. too many days off. <laughs> I do run my own business. I'd like to be skiing all day, but uh, probably the weekend, hopefully. Okay, well, show, send us some pics of, yeah, the, will, uh, yeah. of the ski on. Guys, honestly, if you're in the market for a custom, and I express the word custom, trailer these guys are literally the guys i'm not just saying it because he's here he's been very very helpful absolute gent true professional and uh yeah i'm absolutely buzzing because i've not had to lift a finger apart from the phone i guess <laughs> to get this sorted they've done it all so absolutely props to you guys and your team thanks for letting us look around pleasure and uh yeah the video should hopefully demonstrate to you guys these guys are the real deal now let's go home <laughs> <laughs>